guys, that girl Belle here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new to my channel, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I did this soft duo makeup look that I am wearing right now. So for this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I achieved this makeup look. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so the first thing I always put on my face is this vitamin C serum here. I am using Naturgix Cosmeticals. This is vitamin C serum with hyaluronic acid. Next is I'm going to be using this Lancome Moisturizer Multi Action Ultra. I love this one because it is good for lifting, firming, and dark spot correcting cream. I love how it makes my skin soft and firm. So after that, I am going to be using this Metaluso face powder. I am not going to put a lot of it, just a little bit just to, you know, set everything up. And then after that, I am going to go ahead and get my primer here. I am using my Tarte uh, base primer I love this it is like a water base and it doesn't feel tacky or greasy on my face and next I am going to use my contact lenses from TTDI here I am wearing the gray color next is we are going to get the foundation here I am using bare minerals foundation i love this guys because it is very lightweight and also it's long lasting next is i am going to use this revlon color stay concealer and i am going to put it on my t-zone and under my eye area Next is I am going to use this full coverage 3-in-1 Metaluso Contour okay. Cream. And we just go into like blend it all in. Next is I am going to use this Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder just to set everything up and make sure that our foundation will going to stay intact. And then after that, I am going to use this Makeup Revolution. This is Banana Shade. And I am going to bake my under eye area and also my T-zone area. And we are going to let it bake or sit while we are doing our eyebrow. And for my eyebrow, I'm going to be using this Billion Dollar Brows. This is a universal brow pencil.
after that i am going to like clean everything up using my revlon concealer and make sure that my eyebrow is on flick next is i am going to use this lineage lip sleeping mask i love this one it tastes like strawberry so for my eye makeup i'm going to use this bad habit after shock palette i love these colors it has vibrant colors and i'm just gonna go ahead and pick random colors and let's see how this will turn out So after that, I'm going to go ahead and do a cut crease. Here, I am using my Metal Dusso 3-in-1 concealer. For my blush on, I'm going to be using this Tarte Duo. This is the Eye and Cheek palette, but I'm just going to go ahead and use this blush for my cheek. Next is I am going to do my wing eyeliner. So this is like the tricky part for me. I always... Um, struggle to have that perfect wing eyeliner because the other eye is always different from the other one but I'm just gonna go ahead and try my best next is I am going to put my mascara here I am using this Visily magic lashes so for my lips I'm going to use this dose of color in pink strawberry shade and for my highlighter i am using this bobby brown luminous highlighter And next is I am going to curl my eyelashes using this curler. Just for the final touch, I'm going to use this Neutrogena Mineral Micro Clear Powder. And for the last touch for my eye makeup, I'm going to be using this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in Mermaid Color. And last but not the least, for my setting spray, I'm going to be using this Derma Blend Professional. This is a power setter 2-in-1 spray. So I'm going to go ahead and spray like 4-6 to six times and... Yes, I love this because it makes my makeup last long. 
So there you have it guys. This is how I achieved this soft Kiwi makeup look. And thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell. And I will see you guys again in my next video.